Hey guys, how's it going? Hope you're all doing really well. Um, well, this thought came to me this morning and you know, I really wanted to share with it. It was actually the first, the very first thought that I had today when I woke up and I think it was really important to share with you because we started this year, we started 2020 and it was a, it was a big year for people um, and this was gonna be a year of achieving goals and creating the life that you really want. And if you can think back all the way now to, to January when this year started, um, the main theme was, was 2020, 20 vision, having crystal clear clarity on what it is that you wanted to be doing and what it is that you wanted to achieve. And nobody or very few people expected um, this COVID-19, this coronavirus to have such a massive impact um, on, on our economy, the way that we work, the way that we interact with each other. So for a lot of people, they may have, uh, they may have had set some really good goals at the, at the start of the year, things that they really wanted to achieve. And now moving, uh, where are we in, in coming up for May now, um, you know, people are maybe thinking about, are those goals still possible? Can I still achieve those goals and what I set out to do? And if you're, if you're thinking about changing your goals, realigning your goals or doing something different you're thinking about giving up on your goals because this coronavirus and this pandemic has hit and you're in lockdown what i would urge you is just to just to hold tight for now don't change anything just yet because the purpose of a goal and purpose of a goal is to really draw you towards something a goal acts as a magnet the goal the goal you set yourself acts as a magnet and it's pulling you towards what it is that you want to achieve so the thing is a lot of people right now they'll be they'll have their goals and they're going they might have set a target um they might have set a target hey i want to earn um i want i want to earn fifty thousand pounds more this year or fifty thousand dollars whatever and they've gone right coronavirus is hit we're in lockdown i can't do as much before i my clients don't seem to be um seem to be buying from me they're they're holding their money tight in their pockets they don't want to be buying anything maybe it's best if i look at that goal again and maybe i go for maybe i'll just bring it down to twenty five thousand pounds or dollars maybe i don't i won't i'll lower my target so um that it will make it more achievable but this is the thing you don't want to lower your target because what that does is that means that you you're settling for less and you don't want to settle for less because if you start now if you start now and you start settling for less what are you going to do in your whole life what are you going to do across the board in everything that you do you're always going to allow yourself to settle for less when you're when you're capable of so much more and remember that goal is there as a it's there as a target it's there as a magnet to pull you towards something greater it's there to pull you towards your destiny and your purpose and what it is that you're supposed to be doing in life so don't get so hung up on achieving the goal itself it's all about the direction that it pulls you in and if you start cutting down your goal you're going to demotivate yourself you're going to as i say you're going to be settling for less um, when you can be achieving so much more so set goals keep them keep them in your mind keep them in your sight get really clear on what it is that you want to want to achieve and start to think of if, if you've been affected by this virus if you've been affected by the lockdown and your business has been um has had to change in such a way start to think on your feet and um, about some other options that you can do to still achieve your goal this is where you need to start getting resourceful as as a human you have um you have a very high-powered brain, and this brain is there for problem solving. It's there for it's there for creating solutions to problems and obstacles that you have. So start to use this to create some solutions for yourself. How you might get around this obstacle, how you might get around coronavirus, how you might get around this lockdown, um, and the way that it's affected the economy, so that you can still achieve your goal. Um, the late Jim Rohn said. He said. Don't don't set a goal because of what you'll because of what you'll achieve and what you'll get out of it. Set a goal because of what it will make of you as a person. 
So many people set a goal because, um, and this is something that I did as well. I set a goal because um, I wanted to be a millionaire, and I wanted to have the the um, I wanted to have the money in my account. Um, I thought it would just be such a such an amazing thing to look at in your bank account if there's a million pounds. Well, as I grew, as I developed, you know, I realised kind of how wavy that thinking was because Jim Rohn said, you know, set a goal because of what it will make of you as a person. So being a millionaire, whatever, or setting up your own business, whatever that looks like, think about what that goal will make of you as a person. To be a, to be a millionaire, to be somebody who, who has a lot of money, who has a lot of wealth, you have to be somebody who's very, um, you have to be very responsible. Um, you have to be fantastic at supporting others, at being a great leader. You have to be a great businessman. You have to make sure that you're giving lots of value. You have to make sure that you're, you're helping a lot of people. Um, you have to make sure that you're a good listener, that you can um, really help and take care of people. Um, so think of all those things. Millionaires as well, they have to have a very strong mindset. So think of all the things that your goal that you set out with in 2020 will um, will make you will turn you into as a person. What are the values? What are the traits? What are the characteristics that you're going to develop because of that goal that you're going to achieve? So I strongly encourage you. If you again, if you're thinking about if you're thinking about changing your goals, if you're thinking about doing something else just because this virus is here and you're in lockdown. Don't be so, um, don't rush to change your goals. Don't rush to lower the target because that will make it more achievable. Because I don't want you guys to settle for less. You're capable of so much more. Even when a thing like this, even when something so unexpected, so unprecedented like this happens to our economy, happens to the way our, um, our lifestyle, the way that we live, you can still achieve so much. But it just means that you have to be a bit more creative. It means you have to think with a, um, with a different mindset to the mindset that you had before. So guys, Hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, this is Tom Cook speaking to you. I'm really blessed for you guys watching. Um, would love for you in the comments just to let me know, you know, what are your 2020 goals? What is it that you wanted to achieve? Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. Bye for now.